My name is Sister Thomas Bernard, and I really don't have a direct role into the Mount. I've been on the campus for these last 28 years in connection with the Spirituality Center, which was an archdiocesan um, entity, if you will. I grew up in the Bay Area, up in Oakland. I was born in 1926, and as you know, the Great Depression began in 1929. So I, could, I can really honestly say that I was a child of the Depression. My father lost a very good job, and it was, it, those were tough years. We, we were able to keep, I, I mean, my pam, parents were able to keep a roof over our head and food on the table, but it, it was really hard going for them. And there were, in many ways, well, the neighborhood where I grew up, it was a middle class neighborhood. And uh, there were a number of families in that neighborhood at that time who were going through the same thing. But we had lots, and there were lots of young people in the neighborhood. So I grew up with a lot of, ch of children and then grew into teenagers. And, uh, it was a wonderful uh, neighborhood. We were the only Catholic family in the neighborhood. And another thing that happened was it was during those years that they, the polio epidemic hit the country. And that was another thing. We, we were very restricted in our neighborhood about, uh, we couldn't go down to the park, swim in the pool, or go to movies or anything like that. We, but we created all kinds of funny things that we did. <laughs> when did you realize you had a calling? Well, I think, I think it's when I saw my first grade teacher for the first time. Uh, we went to the parish school, Grant Elementary School, and um, I remember they were, it, it was, it was uh, the Sisters of St. Joseph who were there in the school. And when I saw my first grade teacher, I just, that's what I wanted to be. And I think what really answered it for me was my, my reflections of the Sisters of St. Joseph in elementary school. And I had mentioned earlier the, the Second World War, all of the men in our family were, went away in service. And during one summer, I drove trucks for the army. It was, um, I, was I had a, what I, they called a GI license, a government issue license. And I was licensed to, dive, to drive anything up to and including a six-wheeled combat vehicle, except tanks or motorcycles. <laughs> I was never... For, um, I didn't get any kind of a license for it. What year did you enter the community? The year uh, 1947. It was um, August. Well, I had never lived in, obviously, in a house like this before. Although I had lived in large houses, like St. Mary's Academy was a big house. The Nivishit house was a big house. Um, so that kind of thing was, but anything as decorative and artistic as this, no. It was awesome in that sense. And I love the people. You know, it's one thing to come into a building or to come into a house, but I think that the really important thing is the people that make it up. And I think the, the faculty and the staff, at least as I am, inter, you know, in, in a, interact with them, are wonderful people. They're not only intellectually, but they're there's something about the, their spirit that I think is wonderful. And that's one of the, I think that's one of the, the difficult things. It's one thing to live, leave a house, but it's hard leaving all the nice people. <laughs> and they have been, certainly they've been very, very kind to me. And I mean all of them, the, the faculty, the, certainly the staff, the housekeepers, the, Gardeners, everybody seems to be so nice, and that's 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 good modeling, I think, for the students too.